So when you are assembling a double layer uh, backdrop, you can do it two different ways. You can do it a couple of different ways, but I'm gonna be showing you how to achieve the look with two crossbars and a crossbar hanger. As I've mentioned uh, several, in several videos, all of our kits, except for the mobile kit, comes with two crossbars and two crossbar hangers. So you don't have to necessarily go and look for any uh, additional hardware to achieve this look. So what you wanna do is take your crossbar hanger and you're gonna be using the, the, the groove in the middle. You wouldn't necessarily use the first slot because it's gonna cause your hanger to kinda go down, right? And that's not gonna be sturdy for your backdrop. So you want to use the middle slot so you can actually, um, your crossbar can extend like a 90 degree angle. Then you're going to take your second crossbar and you can use either slot because there's two slots here, right? If you want it to be further out, maybe you're attaching a valance or something like that, then you would use the, the slot closest to the inside. If you just want it to be flush, um, like your second layer on the outside, then you can use the outside slot, but it's totally up to you. It doesn't really make a difference. So I am using the outside slot. This is how you pretty much as, um, assemble your double crossbars. So if those of you that's purchasing kits and you may be a little confused and like, oh, how I'll put this thing together. You just wanna take your upright, attach it to your base plate, assemble, insert your first crossbar into the slot on the upright, attach your crossbar hanger, and then attach your second crossbar. So now you're gonna thread your base layer with drape. For the sake of this video, I am only actually gonna use four panels since this is um, the jersey knit and it's not transparent fabric, uh, I can get away with four panels. However, if this was like sheer or something like that, I would need to double that amount. Just bring it all the way over, stretch it all the way out. Definitely want to make sure your fabric is evenly dispersed. Now, in order to achieve a double layer with a double crossbar, only thing you're going to do is start draping your next crossbar with whatever pattern you have, whatever pattern you created, whatever fabric you have, and, and that's, just do it that way. So you just take your drape and slide it onto your crossbar. And if you notice, I'm actually using two contrasting colors so that you actually can see it, what I'm doing on the video. If I was to use two colors that is kind of close, it probably would be hard to see the design or to actually see what I'm doing. So if you want your designs to pop, like your actual crisscross patterns or anything like that, be mindful where you're placing your fabric and make sure that you're placing it so you can actually see the fabric pop. So your contrasting colors should be opposite. And just put your crossbar back up. Now you just wanna spread out your drape. according to where you're going to place it. Make sure your two, it's in the middle, where they should meet, should be in the middle. And then once you evenly disperse your fabric, you're gonna raise and begin your design. But before we get to that part, I'm gonna show you another way that you can create a double layer if you only have one crossbar. If you found this tip to be helpful, you can simply let me know by just liking this video. If you have a community or perhaps you know any groups where this video will be beneficial and it may help other people, simply share this video with your community, friends, and your family, and anyone else that you think could benefit from it, right? 
Not to mention, if you're looking to take your skills to the next level and just really don't know where to start, maybe this wasn't as detailed enough for you and you really need some hand holding, trust me, I am your girl. I have several different memberships, different access levels that will help you exactly where you are. If you're a newbie, it's definitely a lot of resources for that. And maybe you may be advanced, but you just want to possibly learn tent draping. Or maybe, maybe you want to learn sealing, or maybe you want to learn dome canopies and things like that. Trust me, it's something for you by just clicking the links below. Different access levels, different membership levels, something for everyone. Click the links below and get access immediately. I hope to see you guys on the inside.